Hey, GitLab team members, this is Kai Armstrong, and I'm back to show you sort of the next evolution of Duo Code Review and what we've been working on since we want you to try that out starting today. Um, so let me share my screen and, and we'll walk through the first couple of things and then we'll we'll show you what's new. Uh, so here's a new merge request that I'm going to create. Uh, just for fun, I'm going to have this go ahead and summarize this, provide us a, you know, a description of what's changing in this merge request. Um, so it introduces some changes to a JavaScript file, um, some new functions for basic math and other things. Um, it's also pointing out that there's bugs and inconsistencies. Um, so, you know, uh, we'll get into those uh, when we start reviewing it and see what happens. So let me go ahead and create this. Um, so now that my MR is created, I'm ready to start a review. There's two ways to do this. So in the past, we've always shown off this Duo code review. Um, that's still there today, but you know, typically when you go ahead and you want to do a review, um, you assign reviewers. So just like you might assign someone else on your team to take a review, you can now assign GitLab Duo, um, and not assign, but we want to assign them as a reviewer. Um, we can go ahead and assign them as a reviewer. And once we do that, and I'll do that via quick action. You'll see that they show up here, and we can see that they're immediately also uh, starting their review. And so that first comment comes up that they're starting the review, and they'll let me know when they're finished. Uh, we'll give this just a moment because this should be relatively um, straightforward for them to review. And done. Um, so they've left several recommendations. And this is where reviews become a sort of back and forth process where a reviewer leaves feedback and then you have other pieces. And so now what you can do with GitLab Duo and Duo Code Review here is you can interact with the review uh, to ask questions or to have it help you build new functions or clarify things or other things. So, um, you know, most of these are fairly straightforward um, pieces right now where, you know, it's undefined. Um, but actually, maybe what I want to do here is instead of this ABC, um, it might make sense to like, ask GitLab Duo, you know, how could I turn this function into something? Out of parameters. Right, so maybe I actually do want an A plus B plus C, or maybe I want any number of parameters. And so um, why don't we ask GitLab Duo? And so I'm just gonna tag it in a comment, ask my question, um, you know, and GitLab Duo will come back and, and let me know what it thinks. And so let's give this a moment to see. Do, 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 live demos. All right, here we go. Uh, so GitLab Duo. Um, so to modify the add function to accept any number of parameters, you can use uh, the rest parameter syntax in JavaScript. And here's how you could rewrite the function. And so you can see that it's giving me a new sort of um, function that I can do. And then it's going to, you know, provide details on like, why all of that works and then um, sort of how that maths out once you test it down here. Um, and then if I had further follow-up questions, um, you know, we could ask, we could continue to ask two of those. Um, so maybe let's find another one down here. Um, yeah. yeah. You create a... Uh, to remove this function and replace the other with one that accepts multiple parameters or multiple inputs. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens with this one. Uh, so here's another question that we'll ask it. So, um, you know, asking it for help on how to solve something or provide you answers or solutions. So this is really gives you this back and forth during the review process where you can go back and forth with GitLab Duo as much as you want to sort of refine the review and the inputs that you're getting. Um, so here it's providing like how to remove it. Um, so it's, you know, just remove those lines. And then, uh, and it says replace the other multiply function with this. And this is very similar to that math function that we had up above, uh, the addition function, um, but saying like, hey, you can do this. And then here's what it does the following. So this is the new feature for Duo Code Review. Uh, you get to interact with GitLab Duo and have these back and forth in your merge request to really refine and improve. Um, 
it's available to all GitLab team members as of today, and we'd love your feedback on this. Um, you can use the same feedback issues that exist. I'll link them below the video. I'll link them in the announcement post, um, or you can go back to the first comment that GitLab Duo leaves you and click on that and go straight there. So um, thanks for giving it a try. Let us know what you think, what's working well, what's not. Um, we'll keep working on it. Thanks.